In this module, you will learn and understand the different phase changes of matter. You will be able to explain physical changes in terms arrangement and motion of atoms and molecules in matter. All matter undergoes changes in physical state, which is known as phase changes. Phase changes occur when matter either absorb or release energy, usually in the form of heat. Let's do what I know activity. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Question number one. What happens when an ice cube melts? A. It absorbs energy that increases the kinetic energy of particles. B. It absorbs energy that decreases the kinetic energy of particles. C. It releases energy that increases the kinetic energy of particles. D. It releases energy that decreases the kinetic energy of particles. Answer. Letter A. Question number 2. What happens when orange juice freezes? A. It absorbs heat and the particles lose kinetic energy. B. It absorbs heat and the particles gain kinetic energy. C. It releases heat and the particles lose kinetic energy. D. It releases heat and the particles gain kinetic energy. Answer. Letter C. Question number 3. What happens when water particles evaporate? A. Particles absorbs heat and the particles lose kinetic energy. B. Particles absorbs heat and the particles gain kinetic energy. C. Particles releases heat and the particles lose kinetic energy. D. Particles releases heat and the particles gain kinetic energy. Answer. Letter B. Kinetic energy. C. It releases heat and the particles lose kinetic energy. D. It releases heat and the particles gain kinetic energy. Answer letter B. Question number 5. What happens when alcohol evaporates? A. Alcohol absorbs energy causing particles to vibrate faster. B. Alcohol releases energy causing particles to vibrate faster. C. Alcohol absorbs energy causing particles to vibrate slow. D. Alcohol releases energy causing particles to vibrate slow. Answer. Letter A. Out passing through the liquid state. Answer. True. Number 7. The particles of an object vibrate slow when it absorbs energy. Answer. False. Number 8. When the kinetic energy increases, the particles of matter vibrate faster. Answer true. Number 9. During evaporation, matter releases energy and loses kinetic energy. Answer. False. Number 10. Freezing occurs when matter absorbs energy. Answer. False. Number 11. Condensation happens when gaseous matter turns to its liquid state. Answer. True. Number 12. When matter sublime, it releases energy and turns the gas easily without passing through the liquid state. Answer. False. Number 13. During deposition and condensation, matter releases energy. Answer. True. Number 14. Melting is the opposite of freezing. Answer. True. Number 15. During evaporation and melting, the kinetic energy of the particles of matter increases. Answer. True. Let's do what's in activity. Write true if the statement is correct, false if otherwise. Number 1. Particles of matter, except for solids, are in constant motion. Answer. False. Number 2. There are forces that act between the particles. Answer. True. Number 3. All matter is made up of tiny particles. Answer. True. Number 4. Solids have definite shape and volume. Answer. True. Number 5. Liquid also have definite shape and volume. Answer. False. Number 6. However, unscramble and define the following words. Number 1. Meltem. A physical change of a solid to liquid by the addition of energy as heat. 
Number 2. Evaporation. A change of substance from liquid to gas. Number 3. Condensation. Is the change of state from a gas to a liquid. Number 4. Sublimation. Is the process in which a solid changes directly into a gas. Number 5. Freezing. Is the change of state in which a liquid becomes a solid as heat is removed. Number 6. Deposition. Is the change in state in which a gas becomes a solid. It's movie time. Today we'll be learning about changes in the states of matter. Now you know there are three states of matter. There are solids, there are liquids, and there are gases. And you probably know that when a solid like ice turns into a liquid, we say that it's melting. And if a liquid like water turns back into a solid, we can say that it's freezing. But it turns out their names for all of the other types of changes that can exist as well. If a liquid turns into a gas, like when you boil a pot of water, we say that the liquid is evaporating. This is an example of evaporation. There are also times when a gas will turn back into a liquid. If you've ever had a bottle of cold water, you see these little droplets of water form on the outside. This is happening because water vapor, or gas in the air, is turning back into a liquid because of the cold water inside of the bottle. We call this process, when a gas turns back into a liquid, condensation. There's one more example too. Believe it or not, but a solid can turn directly into a gas without ever having to be a liquid. This happens with dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide. If you drop it in some water just to start the reaction, you can see that the carbon dioxide ice is turning directly into a gas. It's never becoming a liquid. Those solid chunks are switching directly into a gas. Now this process where a solid goes straight to a gas is called sublimation. Let's practice some of these together. If you ever wake up on a cold morning, you sometimes see that there's liquid water on the grass. This water comes from water gas or vapor in the air that's turning back into liquid water. What is it called when a gas turns back into a liquid? Well, we can see that that is called condensation. Here's another example. If you pour water on a dark surface on a hot day, you can watch it seem to disappear really quickly. That's because the liquid water is turning into water gas or vapor and vanishing into the air. What is it called when a liquid turns into a gas? Well, you can see that we call that evaporation. Finally, here's one more. When you have a cube of dry ice, solid carbon dioxide, it turns straight from a solid into a gas. What is it called when a solid turns into a gas? Well, when a solid turns directly into a gas, it's called sublimation. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. On cold days, you sometimes see droplets of water form on your window. What is happening to cause that? Well, that's happening because water vapor or water gas in the air is turning back into a liquid on your window. That is an example of condensation. Now here's another. When you boil a pot of water, say to make tea, you can see all of this gas coming out of the kettle. What is this an example of? Well, in this example, liquid water is turning into water gas or water vapor as you boil it. This is an example of evaporation. So from today, remember, evaporation is when liquids turn into gases. Condensation is when gases turn into liquids. And sublimation is when solids turn directly into gases. The different phase changes of matter are the following. Melting, freezing, evaporation, condensation, sublimation, and deposition. How does matter change its phase? Phase change happens by absorption of energy or release of energy in the form of heat. Go around your house and observe the activities of your family. List the activities you observe and identify the phase change in each activity.
What happens to particles of matter before and after a phase change? In this activity your task is to illustrate the arrangement and motion of particles in a matter before and after the different phase changes. This is just an example. You may create your own illustration. Be creative in doing your activity. What I have learned in this module. In this activity you will create a concept map on what you have learned in this module. This is just an example. You can create and improve your own concept map. What can I do? In this activity you will illustrate the different phase change in the water cycle. Water cycle is the hydrological cycle that describes the continuous movement of water on Earth. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What happens when chocolate melts? A. The particles of chocolate lose its orderly arrangement to form gas. B. The particles of chocolate lose its orderly arrangement to form liquid. C. The particles of chocolate keep its orderly arrangement to form liquid. B. None of these. Answer. Letter B. Number 2. What happens when chocolate drink freeze? A. It absorbs heat and the particles lose kinetic energy. B. It releases heat and the particles lose kinetic energy. C. It absorbs heat and the particles lose potential energy. D. It releases heat and the particles lose potential energy. Answer. Letter B. Number 3. What happens when alcohol evaporates? A. Alcohol absorbs energy causing particles to vibrate faster. B. Alcohol absorbs energy causing particles to vibrate slower. C. Alcohol releases energy causing particles to vibrate faster. D. Alcohol releases energy causing particles to vibrate slower. Answer, letter A. Number 4. Which is true about deposition? A. It is responsible in cloud formation. B. It is responsible for snow formation. C. It is the exact opposite of evaporation. D. It offers substance changes directly from solid to gas. Answer, letter B. Number 5. Which is not true about evaporation. A. It occurs when matter absorbs energy. B. It occurs at the boiling point of substance. C. It occurs when a substance turns from liquid to gas. D. It occurs when the kinetic energy of the particles increases. Answer letter D. Write T if the statement is correct, F if otherwise. Number 6. Phase change occurs when there is enough energy for the particles in a substance to break their bonds in between. Answer. True. Number 7. The atoms of a molecule separate when a substance change its phase. Answer. False. Number 8. When matter absorbs energy, its kinetic energy increases. Answer. True. Number 9. Sublimation is the exact opposite of evaporation. Answer. False. Number 10. Condensation is the opposite process of evaporation. Answer. True. Answer the following question. Number 6. 
how is Melton similar to evaporation? Answer. They both absorb heat and gain kinetic energy. Number 7. How does freezing differ from deposition? Answer. Freezing is liquid to gas while deposition is gas to liquid. Number 8. How does evaporation differ from condensation? Answer. Evaporation is from liquid to gas while condensation gas to liquid. Number 9. When does a phase change occurs in matter? Answer. When substance either absorb or release energy. For the additional activity, write true if the statement is correct, false if otherwise. Number 1. Evaporation is the opposite process of freezing. Answer. False. Number 2. Deposition is the opposite process of sublimation. Answer true. Number 3. During evaporation, the substance absorbs energy and the kinetic energy of particles decreases. Answer. Number 4. In melting and evaporation, a substance absorbs energy. Answer. True. Number 5. In freezing, a substance like water frees at negative 100 degrees Celsius. Answer. False. That ends our lesson for today. Don't forget to click the like button. And subscribe to this channel for more videos.